Hey, what's up, ladies? It's the relationship guru, Sid Pharrell. Now, I'm back again with another video just to give you ladies. Now, before I get into this video, please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and you hit that bell notification so that you're notified every single time I post. And if you are a woman that needs relationship advice, or you want to learn more about how to think like a man, or why men do the things they do, act the way they act, and think the way they think, then I encourage you to book a one-on-one -on -one session with me. Link is in the description below, and I can help you out personally, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, brand new on my website, if you want me to coach you every step of the way, step by step, throughout your dating or relationship process and journey, and you want me to become your personal dating coach long term, then I have a special program just for you. Link is in the description below also. And I can help you out personally again, one-on-one, -on -one, with any questions, concerns, or anything you have regarding your dating life or relationship currently in general. And also, go pick up my brand new Girls Night card game. It's officially out. So if you're having a game night with your homegirls and you need something to do, then make sure you go pick up my Girls Night card game. It got a lot of fun questions and scenarios about love and relationships and everything all in between. So make sure you go pick that up. Link is in the description below, okay? And then on this hand, we got my brand new ebook. It's called Oh, He's Toxic, period. And if you never want to be played, used, or manipulated by a man ever, ever, ever again your whole life, then make sure you go pick up that ebook right there because it's fire, okay? And again, link is in the description below for that also, okay? And also, if you are a woman and you love love quotes, dating quotes, relationship quotes, and things like that, then I have something special just for you. I came up with my top 100, yes, 100 dating love quotes for women, right? So if you want to go get that, it's on my website. And again, as usual, the link is in the description below also, okay? So all that's out the way, and we gonna jump right into this video. And this video is titled, Put That Man to Work. Right, ladies? So you gotta put a man to work. You gotta make a man earn you, earn your attention, earn your presence, just earn even having anything to do with you. You need to let a man earn you, make him chase you, make him work hard to prove his value, to prove his worth, to impress you, to say this woman is very valuable, right? And a lot of times the key is you want him to invest into you. That's the magic word of this whole video is investment. You want investment from a man. You want a man to chase you. He got to invest into you. The more he invests into you, the more he chases you. You want a man to treat you right and respect you. The more you make him invest into you, guess what? He will chase his investment. He will honor his investment. He won't want to lose his investment. It's going to be harder for this man to walk away from you. It's going to be harder for this man to disrespect you. It's going to be harder for this man to not respect you because he knows that he put in so much effort, so much of his resources and attention and everything that he has as a man. He gave all his masculine qualities to this woman as a nice gesture. And now he knows, hey, I got to keep doing it to keep her. So that's when the chasing begins. You know, that's when he starts chasing you and doing for you. So you want a man to invest into you. You want a man that's able to pour into you and do for you, right? And you want to get and benefit from this man. This man wants you, right? Okay, he wants something. 
Let, let's be fair. Let, let, let's just call it for what it is. This man walked up to you for a reason. This man DM'd you on Instagram or wrote you on Facebook or he wrote you on a dating app, matched with you for a reason, right? He got your number, approached you for a reason, meaning he wants something. It's something about you that he wants, right? It's something about you that he is interested in. It's something about you that he desires, right? Otherwise, he wouldn't have no business talking to you or approaching you. But the fact that he did approach you, he wants something. So he knows that at least. Now, he wants something. Nine times out of ten, you already know what he want. Either he want the booty or he want, uh, you know, a, a future wife, you know, possibly... Or a relationship, something like that, right? And booty along with that, obviously, right? So, you know, you're trying to see if this man, if he just wants you just for sex or if he just wants you because, you know, he actually want to build something with a woman and, you know, he's interested in you and being his wife, possibly, right? But at the same time, it ain't just about what he want from you. What about you? What do what you get in return? This man wants something from you. This man trying to holler at you. This man trying to get something out of you. He want he came over to you for something. He wants something. So what he gonna do in order to achieve or get or even go after or to even be able to be in proximity of what he want if you don't get nothing in return, right? So as a woman, you should always benefit from every man. If a man want to holler at you, he wants something. You in my face for a reason. Okay, well, I want something too. This is going to be an exchange. This ain't just the man just want what he want and he get everything out of you and you left empty handed after he break your heart or after he ghost you or after he disrespect you or after he, you know, play you in your face and don't want to be with you. You left empty handed crying. You all upset because you gave away all your benefits to this man and you ain't getting nothing in return. So in order to avoid that, you need to have the mindset of every man that deal with me. Hey, I, I, I'm not no free, cheap woman. You, ain't nothing valuable in life free. That's just what it is. Nothing that you can think that's valuable, really valuable Nothing like that is cheap, right? So as a woman, yes, it's a requirement to get with a woman like you. You ain't no man just finna walk up on you and just get you like that. No, nah, you need something in your hand. You need to make that man work. You need to make that man try hard, invest into you, make that man impress you, make that man chase you. You need to make that man do something for you. You better get something out of the deal. What's the point of dealing with a man if you're going to be empty handed? I thought this was supposed to be a partnership. I thought we was trying to build something, you know, whatever. Hey, this is an exchange. It ain't just a one-sided thing where a man could just get whatever he want out of you. No, the woman needs something in return, right? So in this video, we're going to talk all about how you can get a man to invest into you. And the more he invests, the more he will chase you. And the harder it is to lose his investment because he didn't spend so much money, so much time, did so much for you. Hey, it's going to be hard for him just to let all that go, right? And now you got the power. And now... Hey, it covers your tracks because if anything happened with this man, if this man cut you off, don't want to talk to you no more, this man not interested in you no more, or something happened and he disrespects you or you have to leave him or anything, at the end of the day, at least you got something out the deal of dealing with this man instead of you breaking up with a man and all you got is tears. At least get something out the deal. Every man that you date, you need to get something out the deal. Okay? So, we're going to talk about it. Okay? So, ladies, without further ado, we're going to jump right to this video, right? And per usual, I'm going to give you my top five. Yes, five ways how you can make a man invest into you where you can receive 
benefits from him out of him and get him chasing after you. And once he start doing for you, he know he got to keep doing for you in order to keep you, right? So now it's your turn to get something out of the deal, right? So we're going to jump right to it. We go number one. So number one, the first way how you can make a man invest into you. One way, number one is you want to get him to do physical labor, right? Follow me, right? Follow me. This man that you dealing with, this man that you laying down with or that you dating or that you talking to, that you getting to know, this man you dealing with, right? He a big, strong, muscular man, right? He big and strong. He's supposed to be the man, protector, provider. He's supposed to have all these muscles, right? He's supposed to be tough guy, right? Okay, well, let's put his big, strong muscles to the test. Now, this how you get a man to invest into you, to chase you, to do for you, to get something out of the deal, right? So, for example, let's just say you need something done on your car. Let's say, you know, you need a new headlight in your car. Maybe you need an oil change on your car. Maybe you need new windshield wipers on your car. Maybe you need a new tire on your car, right? You got this big, strong man for what? What's the point of having this big, strong man that's supposed to be your man? He, he, he's supposed to be, you know, the leader, whatever. Okay, well, when you need some help with your car, where he at? He's supposed to be, you need, you need a new tire. He's supposed to be changing your tire for you. Hey, hey, I need a new tire, blah, blah, blah. I can't put it on myself. Can you put this tire on for me? I got a flat tire, whatever. Where he at? He need to be coming over. You need to be calling that man. He wants you so bad, right? No, nah, he got to invest into you. Okay, you want me, right? Well, when I need your help, let's let's put your manly toughness to the, to the test, right? So you got to do manly, handy stuff. So, okay, change this tire for me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, jack the car up, change the tire for me. Yeah, I appreciate that. You know, okay, put the new headlight in. Oh, thank you. You know, oh, I might need some new, new this, new that. Okay, you know, or at least if he don't do it himself, at least be able to pay somebody to do it. Maybe he might not be, you know, hands on doing the actual labor part, but maybe he at least financially supporting you know, hey, I'm going to take your car to the, or I'm going to give you some money to take your car to the, you know, to go get an oil change or to the tire shop. You know, here goes some money for a new tire. Here goes some money for, you know, X, Y, Z, right? But it's even better. I would even argue any man can pay to have your car done, right? But it's, it's actually more meaningful if you can find a man that actually does that type of labor, that can fix your car for you, your car break down, you need some of this, some of that, he can fix your car for you, right? So then when he's actually doing the labor, changing your tire and stuff, A, he's solving a problem, right? You know, men are problem solvers. You know what I'm saying? It's a simple task. B, you a damsel in distress. So basically you're like, hey, you know, I, I'm this delicate woman. I can't change this this tire. I don't want to get my hands and my nails dirty. I don't want to break a nail, whatever. Can you please help me? You know, so now it gets a he gets a show off, and now it's his time to shine and get some some type of approval or get some type of achievement award. Like, yeah, you know, I changed this woman's tire. Yeah, that's gonna make her like me. I'm showing her I can show up for her. And I can be there for her when she need me. I'm showing her I'm a provider and I can work and, I, and I'm handy, right? So he take pride. You got to think about how prideful a man is. When you get a man to do simple tasks like that, he takes so much pride in doing it. Yeah, I changed your tire for you. Yeah, you're going to be good now. Good is new. You got a brand new tire on there. Yeah, you know, I did it. Yeah, check me out. And you like, okay, thank you so much. You know, you appreciative and stuff. But that gets him in the mood to say, I changed her tire. Okay, I did this for her. Okay, I did that for her. Okay, I got this changed. I got that, you know. Or maybe on your house. 
let's say you've been dealing with a man for a little while, you know, and let's say you need some flooring done in your house. Hey, Mr. Man, can you come over and put the flooring down? Hey, Mr. Man, I need this TV mounted. Can you mount this TV for me? This TV need to be mounted. You know, I was going to call the man, but I'd rather, you know, if you could do it, you know, I don't know if you know how to do it, but I appreciate it if, if you could do it. It's, it's fine if, if, if you don't know how, if you're not strong enough to pick up the TV and put it on the wall. This man going to be like, what? No, I'm strong. I got it. I got it. Dude, you ain't got to call the man. I got it. I'm coming right over. Let me mount the TV on the wall for you. Yeah, I'm the man. I got it. You don't got to call nobody else. You can call me. So now that puts him in competition mode. Like, I'm going to do it. I want to be the one that you call on. I want to be the one to solve your problems. I want to be the man in your life. The only man that you come to and run to if you have a problem, right? So that puts him in a scarcity mindset that he don't want nobody else, no other man doing for you. So he going to do for you first, right? You know, or at least if, if he can't do it, if it's a job he can't do, then he'll just pay a professional to do it at least. But he'll want to take pride in doing it himself, right? So yeah, maybe you need your TV mounted. Maybe you need... You know, you, you got some new furniture. Maybe you got some new furniture. Hey, Mr. Man, can you put these pieces together for me? Can you put together, you know, I got this new dresser. I need to be put together. I don't know how. Can you put, the, put it together for me? Put that man to work. What's the point of having a man if he don't do no manly stuff? This man need to have some tools. That's what's wrong, especially these, these young guys. You know what I'm saying? This, this this generation now, they ain't got no toolbox, no nothing. These men ain't got no hammer. These men ain't got no screwdriver, no drill, no nothing, right? Get you a man that got some tools. You want to get you a handy man. You got a leaky faucet. Hey, I, I got that. You know, or, or your, your toilet messing up. Oh, let me, I can fix that. You got to do this and do that. Get you a handy man. Make him work. Make him invest. Or at the very, very least, make him at least or have him pay to do for you. So he's at least financially invested, even if he's not invested with his labor. You might have a house. Let's say you have a house. You might meet, need your grass cut. You might say, hey, you know, or, or the leaves picked up or something. You might need some yard work done. Yeah, put that man, hey, Mr. Man, you coming over my house. You at my house all the time. You 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 using my Wi-Fi and, and drinking up all my juice and laid up on all my couch and eating up all my food and you laid up all comfortable in my house. Well, since he already coming over so comfortable and he treating it like it's his house, he might as well do some work around the house like it's his house. So put that man to work. I I hey. This, this light been flickering on. Can you change that light bulb for me? Hey, Mr. Man, my countertop. Can you put some new countertops in? Can you put this table together? Put that man to literally work. Put him to work. Literal work. <laughs> like make him physically work for you. You know, because again, that's what men do. A, a real man is a manly man. He should be able to you know, do hands-on stuff. You know what I'm saying? Whatever problem you have, he he's there hands-on. So get that investment. You want that investment that you want to get that man's hands dirty. So he remember, hey, I, I try hard. Look at my hands. My hands dirty. I went through all this trouble just to go out of my way to make you happy and to do for you. Right? So he's more invested. So the more you make him invested, the more he's going to be chasing you and always doing for you. And you always get to receive the benefits. And it's a win-win situation for everybody. He gets to ignite his masculine energy to, you know, cater and do for a woman and help her, right, with the manly problems. And you get to be in your feminine energy and relax and allow the man to do for you and be a man. He a big, strong man. Put the muscles to use. Come move this dresser. I'm moving. Hey, I'm moving out my apartment. I'm moving out my house. I, I need you to come over and I need you to help me load up this truck. 
I need you to help me move my stuff out of this apartment. I need you to help me. Hey, what's the point of having a man laid up? You laid up with a man and he don't do nothing for you. No, you better put him, he better grab a dresser, grab, grab, grab something, you know, he better grab a few lamps, he better grab, you know, an end of a couch, and, 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 hey, you know, he, he better, he better help you move or something, some of that furniture out of there, you gotta put a man to work, all right, so that's number one, so number two, the second type of investment that you want from a man and how you get a man to chase you and want you and respect you and honor you because he had to work hard to get you. Number two is you need to have him give you some advice or information, knowledge, and to help you with something that you need help with, right? For example, I'll explain. For example, you might want to start a business. This man got information or knowledge on how to start said business. Maybe you want to, let's say you want to open up a food truck, right? Or you want to start a restaurant business, whatever. This man might have been in the restaurant industry or know somebody that's been in the restaurant industry, got some knowledge on it, and maybe he could tell you, you come to him, you say, hey, you know, I need help. I'm trying to get this business off the ground. I'm trying to, you know, get everything together. I'm trying to get my certifications here. I'm trying to get my whatever. You know, this man, he'll tell you, okay, you need this, you need that, you need this. Matter of fact, I'm a I'm a type of a whole layout for you just for you. Or I'm gonna text you a whole layout just so you can have all the steps on what you need to you know start that business. So what what just happened there? You got valuable information. Now you got information to take from him, and now you can use it to your benefit to build your business from the ground up, right? So he gave you information. So that's the first that's the first way the the advice or the information he gave you you use it to your advantage obviously right or big or he actually and or he physically invests financially into helping you so maybe you might want to start a restaurant business he say how much you need to start it or i know how much you need to start it Hey, I just wired you some money so you can get your food truck. Hey, you know, I got connections. I know this, I know that. Hey, you know, this how you get a food truck or I just paid some money to, to you know, help you invest into getting this or getting that or I'll invest into this, you know. So he's spending money to help you along the way. Maybe he put down on a building so you can operate your restaurant out there building. Maybe he help you with a loan. Maybe he co-sign for you or help you financially. He got money to just to help you with your business, build your business, whatever. So basically, you know, you need a man to have around for your advantage too. He, he shouldn't just be benefiting off of you. No, have him teach you something. Maybe he knows something you don't know and he can show you how to do something, right? Maybe he got connections. Maybe he got resources, right? For example, you might be dating a man and he might, he might work at a record company, right? You might be a singer, you can obviously go to this man and say, hey, you know, how do I, can, can I get in the studio? He'll obviously, he he with you, so you probably gonna get that studio time for free. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, or he owned the record label, or he knows somebody that owned a record label, he can connect you to that, right? So he might have connections. He might have, he, it might be a certain industry you trying to get in, maybe a business you trying to start or some type of industry you're trying to get into. And he got knowledge and wisdom that can help you start that business because he already did it before or he just got knowledge or business minded period. Or he got the money to be able to invest financially 
into your business ventures or whatever you want to do, right? So basically, number two, you just want a man to help you. What's the point of having a man around if he's not going to help you get some money, show you how to get some money, teach you how to, you know, invest your money, teach you how to build your money, teach you how to start a business. What's the point of having a man around if he can't teach you nothing? What's the point of having a man around if you can't learn nothing from him? What's the point of having a man around if he can't even at least financially support your dreams and goals or if he has no knowledge of what you're trying to do or he got no connections on what you're trying to do or whatever, you know, then it's just like, what are you getting? So, you know, preferably you want a man that's smart. What I'm trying to say is you want a man that's smart, versatile, been around. You know, he knows a lot of stuff. He can teach you some things. And you can take that information and this when you become a smart woman, right? You don't just blow all the money on, you know, whatever. You, you use that money or that information to your benefit for the right reasons to grow yourself so even if this man is no longer in your life this man might leave your life today but guess what he gave you information to start your business and now you started your business and now your business is flourishing and now you making a whole bunch of money and you living the lifestyle you always wanted off of the information of that man that y'all don't even talk no more, but I appreciate the information because it helped me along my journey, right? So at least you got something out the deal even after y'all break up, if y'all ever do break up, right? So at least you got something, okay? So that's number two. So number three, the third thing, the third benefit that you could receive from a man and the third way how a man will invest into you, how you will make him invest. Number three is you want to require financial investment, right? So you want to require financial investment into you. Again, not just with like your business or your goals. You know, of course that, right? Obviously, you know, you could build off that man's money if he give you money and then you can use that to build your business like a number two. But I'm not even talking about just that for your, you know, for your survival purposes. And number three, this is more so for self-leisure. Meaning, this man needs to invest. He needs to spend some money on you. What's the point of dealing with a man? He's supposed to be the provider, right? You know, and number one, we talked about him being the big, strong man protector doing doing work because he's so strong physical labor but protector and what else provider so you got to have that money to even be talking to you so the so you know a man like you and want you and he's interested in you when he actually spend money on you if a man don't spend no money on you he either a he broke or b he don't feel like you worth spending the money on Either way, you shouldn't be dating no man that ain't got no money or don't want to spend no money on you. You deserve a provider. A man puts his money where his mouth is. If a man like you, he, he ain't got no problem coming out his wallet, spending up his money. He going to buy you whatever. He going to take you on nice dates, nice expensive restaurant, luxury dates. He going to take you on nice vacations, nice resorts beautiful islands, you know what I'm saying? He gonna take you all around the world. He gonna pay for stuff. This man gonna get your hair done. He know your hair need to be done. He know your hair looking crazy right now. What, what you got a man, if he need to be spending some money, get your hair done. He want his woman to look good, right? Ain't, 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 y ain't you supposed to look good for him? You Hey, I need my hair done. So, hey, he need to be paying your hair done, nails done. You know, maybe get your nails done, your feet done, right? This man will be, maybe you might need a bill. You might you might need some help on a bill. Let's say you're a little short on your light bill. You're a little short on your rent. You know, you, you dating a man, you laying on your back for this man. He can't help you with a bill or two. He can't help you put something on your phone bill, your light bill, 
Yo, yo, internet something. He can't, he can't do nothing, right? You need to be getting some type of financial gain out of this man. And if it ain't that, then maybe, you know, romance. At least he need to be being romantic with you, buying you flowers, you know, buying you, you know, maybe some gifts, maybe something that you like. Maybe he picked up something out the store, out your favorite store, bought you some shoes, bought you some clothes, bought you some jewelry. This man bought you something because he like you and he romantic. If a man not romantic with you, he don't like you. You know a man, even if a man, he might not necessarily be rich, right? But he's still going to be romantic with you. And not to say that he, not to say he broke neither, right? He got some money, but he not exactly, you know, a millionaire. He might, he might be well off. He might make a lot of money, but he not a, exactly a millionaire. But he'll still spend money on you and still do for you and still provide for you. You know what I'm saying? So, and even, and even broke men, obviously you should not be dating no broke man, but even a broke man, he might not have no money. It's been broke men riding the bus. When it was Valentine's Day, it was broke men riding the bus with a bear, a card, and some flowers in their hands riding the bus to their girl house. You know what I'm saying? He might not have a whole lot. But it don't take a whole lot to make a woman happy. You know, a broke man will spend his last. He ain't even got nothing for himself. He'll still spend his last on a woman he like. So if a man that got money don't spend no money on you, you know how he feel about you. He don't like you at all. Because even a broke man will find and spend the last that he got on a woman. So if he got money, <laughs> hey. Make sure he's spending on you. Make sure you get something. Buy you something. He got to spend something on you. If a man don't spend no money on you, or if a man does not spend money to create an experience or to present a nice environment for you, aka a date or a trip, or if he don't ever buy you nothing, or spend no money on you, or give you no money, hand you no money, or pay for nothing, he don't like you, and that's a man you should not be dating, right? But you want to require that. That's the thing. This is the key. You as a woman, hey, this ain't this ain't no this ain't no maybe, maybe not type of thing. You gonna pay to be here. You ain't finna just be up in my face for free. This ain't how to, if you wanna, if you wanna see my face, you gotta take me out. If you wanna see me, you gotta spend some money. If this ain't, this, you ain't finna take me out the house as beautiful as I am, with my hair done and nails done, looking as good as I do, and, and you want me to come out the house for you for what? For what? For what? No. What am I, what am I come out the house for? Create an experience. Plan a date, spend some money, take me out, take me shopping, do something. He he getting everything he want out of you. So what's the point of dating a man and, and he not providing nothing for, for you? And not even trying to show that he even like you, even buy you nothing. If a man like you, he going to buy you stuff, period. Okay? So that's number three. And not just on your birthday. He not just going to buy you stuff on Christmas, on your birthday, on Valentine's Day. Not just stuff like that. He gonna buy you stuff all throughout the week. He gonna buy you stuff throughout the month. He gonna buy you stuff whenever. All year round, he doing for you. Not just a one-time thing. So that's number three. So number four. The fourth way how you can get a man to invest into you. And the fourth investment how you want a man to invest. Number four is you gotta make this man chase after you, Right? So, how do you make a man chase after you? Well, honestly, by not chasing him. Obviously, if you don't chase a man, he has no choice but to chase you. Basically, what I mean is, if you don't call a man first, like you supposed to, as a woman, you should never call a man first. You should never text a man first. You should never invest and reach out to a man first you a woman should never initiate contact with a man first that's a man's job to do the hunting and the pursuing and the chasing 
So let him be the chaser. The problem a lot of y'all women is y'all being too thirsty and y'all taking the man job away from him by calling the man first and texting the man first and pursuing him. You got to let the man chase you. You want to ignite his masculinity, right? So make him chase you. Don't never call a man. Don't never chase him. Don't give no man no compliments. What I tell y'all all the time. Never give a man a compliment because it gets to a man's head and it makes him feel like he's greater than you. It makes him feel like he's better than you. It makes him feel like you putting him on a pedestal because you're saying how handsome he is, how tall he is, how fine he is. You saying you got you like his nice car, you like his shoes, you like his clothes. You giving him all this validation. That's making him lose respect for you because he felt like you're putting him up on a pedestal higher than you. So that's when he looked down on you. So that's why you don't say no compliments. Don't give no man no compliments. Don't be calling no man first. Don't be texting no man first. Don't be chasing no man. Don't be thirsty for no man. Don't be begging no man to do for you. Don't be begging no man to take you out. Don't be begging no man. You don't do no begging. Ain't no begging. Ain't no talking. You demand what you want, and if a man not willing to give you what you want, you leave, period. If a man don't spend no money on you, you leave. You require financial investment. You require a man to spend money on you, for example. And if he don't spend no money, cut him off. Ain't no, you know, can you please spend some money on me? Can you please take me out? Can you please do, ain't no talking. Either he going to take you out or he not, and you going to get you a man that will. It's always a man that will. You don't waste no time with no man that ain't trying to be on your program. You got to demand what you want and stand on it. Don't let no man play with you, right? So you just never chase after this man. Don't never show that you're thirsty. Don't never tell a man how you really feel about him. Leave him guessing. Make his mind wonder. Don't tell him that you really like him and that you miss him and that you need him in your life and you thinking about him all the time and you just care about him so much and you have so much fun with him. Stop talking. Make him think and question and wonder. Does she like me? Does she not like me? I mean, you know, we hang out and have a good time, so I guess she like me, but she's not thirsty all over me. But how do I get her all over me? You know, this woman, she let me take her out. She let me spend money on her. She let me, you know, provide for her and do for her, but she not all over me yet. She not chasing me yet. She not calling me and texting me first and begging for my attention and chasing after me. Huh, okay. Well, now I need to try harder to get her wrapped around my finger. That's all it is. This man, when he chasing you, chasing you, chasing you, a lot of times he trying to see if you going to end up lowering your guard and, and getting soft and chasing him back or you start off chasing him and he don't got to chase you. And then he lose respect for you and he don't want to invest nothing into you because he don't feel like he has to. But when you make a man feel like he has to invest into you, when you don't chase after a man, when you don't call a man first, no compliments, no chasing, no nothing. Let the man do all the work and come to you. He won't you. He the one who reached out to you in the first place. He won't you, right? Well, he got to show you what he want you for. What, what business do he got with you? So make him work for you and earn you. So you sit there in your feminine energy. Let him be his masculine energy and hunt you down. You know, like the prey. So that's number four. So number five, the fifth and last and final way how you can make a man invest into you. Number five is you want to make him invest time into you, right? So make this man invest his time. Not just his money, not just his physical labor, not just him chasing you, not just, you know, all that. But you want his actual time, quality time. 
You want this man to take you out and spend time with you. You want this man to, you know, talk on the phone with you for a little bit. You want this man to, you know, be in your presence for a while, for a little bit. You want this man to get attached to you. You want this man to spend time with you, get to know you, laugh with you, hang out with you, have fun with you. The more time you spend with somebody, the closer you get with them. The closer you get with them, the more it's harder to lose them because you start to adapt your life to theirs and they become a part of your life and a part of your daily schedule and you honestly become dependent on that person. So after a while, he'll start getting attached to you because, you know, it's that chemical in your brain, oxytocin, that bonding chemical that, you know, the more time, the more hugging, the more time we just next to each other in the same room as each other, hanging out and stuff like that, that's the more attached even a man will get. You know, you might think only a woman gets attached through, you know, just hanging out, having fun and being in a company of somebody else but no not just a, a man too a man he also enjoys quality time a lot of men actually really enjoy a quality nice time with a woman where she's like his best friend they can talk about anything he get comfortable with her he can tell you anything he like man this woman cool she like the female version of me you know, we we do everything together. We create memories together. We explore, go on dates, and travel the world together. We spend a lot of time together. I really like her. And, you know, he thinking about you. It, it make it even hard for him to even think about, you know, another woman or dating another woman, talking to another woman. He with you all the time. Or he with you a lot of times. Or he only want to see you. You know, or he just gets so attached to you that you always on his mind. He just always, he just can't live without you. So he got to see you. He got to spend time with you. He start getting attached to you, right? And that's exactly where you want him. You want him weak on his knees for you, begging for your attention. I need to be around you. I need to spend money on you. I need to chase you. I got to have you because you just letting a man be a man chasing you and you just sit there and play hard to get but at the same time, allow him to do for you. But, you know, you just kind of give him a little, you know, indifference. Be a mystery. Don't never let him know your next move, right? Always remain a mystery, okay? So, ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Those are my top five ways how you can make a man invest into you. And again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please! Like, comment, subscribe, y'all. Hit that bell notification for me, and I'm out of here. So, to the next video.